Here we are at Ball Music and Books and today I thought I'd do a, another top five of a classic rock band. Um, today we're going to do The Mighty Status Quo, um, one of the most loved English rock bands, many albums, uh, but I'm sure most people's favourites are the um, early to mid 70s uh, releases. So this is my top five, it's just my opinion. Uh, I'd really love to hear what you think and uh, what your favourite top five core albums. I'm going to go number five with 1972's Pile Driver. Um, this was the album where they really made the mark, I think, and started their trademark sound. Um, great tracks on this, including Don't Waste My Time, Big Fat Mama, one of the greatest tracks ever, and uh, a great version of The Doors, Roadhouse Blues, and uh, Paper Plane, which is a fantastic single for the band. Um, so that's number five, Pile Driver. Coming in at number four, I'm going to go with the follow-up to Pile Driver, which is Hello. If you can just see the cover there. This was released in 73. Um, includes um, Caroline, probably their biggest hit, maybe. Um, and Roll Over, Lay Down. And it's also got the epic 4500 times. From the makers of. I love the way they used to do that on the sleeves. That would come in at my number four. Coming in at number three. 1975 is On The Level. This is a nice version of this album um, with an OB strip limited edition to a thousand copies, orange vinyl. Um, Down Down was on this album as well as Little Lady. Again, this is the classic lineup of Coglin, Rossi, Parfit and Lancaster. Um, good album, very, very good album. Um, probably their peak maybe in terms of uh, popularity this time. Down Down was a massive single. Uh, so that is my number uh, three. Number two, I haven't got this on vinyl at the moment, so I'll show you this nice CD version, again, with an OB strip. Um, high definition remastering version. Uh, this is 1976's Blue For You. I can remember this being played in its entirety by John Peel at the time, actually, when this album was released. This is a great album. A really hard rocking album, I think, this one. Uh, Mystery Song is on this one, and Rain was the single, which was a great single. Is There a Better Day? Um, Ring of a Change and Mad About the Boy are great deep cuts on this album. Nice cover, The Boys in Denim, of course. That would come in at number number two, but number one, 1974's Quo. Probably the, the best cover as well that they, they had, uh, cover at the sleeve. Um, brilliant artwork. Um, this is a great album. Um, again, a very hard rocking album. Backwater and Just Take Me, fantastic start to the album. The single off this album was Break the Rules, which uh, wasn't a massive hit, but it's a great song. Drifting Away, it's probably as heavy as Quo ever got. And the second side's fine as well, and um, includes the epic Slow Train. Another really fantastic track from the boys. So there you go, that's my number one, is Quo from 1974. So let me know what you think to my choices. Let me know what your favourites are. Maybe some of you like the, the 80s uh, releases more. But they're my favourites. I love the classic band. I haven't included any studio albums. The live album is, is fantastic from 1977. So um, if you like the channel, please subscribe. And we'll be back soon. Thank you. Bye.